This is King McDuck, and welcome to a game that I really, oh jeez, so incredibly loud. Ah. Alright, so we're going to have to turn it off. Music? I don't think it can be on. Because there's copyright in this game? Pretty sure. And also, so, yeah. Um, but, anyways, this is pretty much a game that I haven't really played. Well, actually, I've played it a lot. But I used to own it on my Xbox 360, which that is kind of broken. And if you saw my last Star Wars Battlefront stream, please subscribe. It really helps out a lot. Now, I haven't played this in a long time. So, yeah. I don't remember which one I should do. Since if you don't know, um, I'm named after a famous, well, uh, actually, a legend, uh, named Sir Tristan the Knight. And pretty much, he, he has purple armor. That's about all I know about him. And uh, King Arthur is his cousin. So we're going to be playing um, some online multiplayer today. Back off, Barbarian. I don't like that very much. I played it, but it's kind of really kind of boring. It, once you, like the first or few times you play it, it's fine. But then it gets just, yeah, not better. All right, yeah, I'll just play with anyone. All right, I'm creating. Sorry, just had to set down my controller. All right. <laughs> I am confused by that. Alright. I guess. Well, this game isn't very popular anymore. So, we're just going to be playing some local. Hopefully you can at least hear. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I have a weird setup. If you guys want to see face cam, uh, I may or may not be able to do that. Alright, so we're about to get into this now. And hopefully do this. So, actually what we're going to do is, we will, oh jeez, sorry about that. Um, we're going to be playing some, as a different character. I have all, it, by the way, I have all the DLCs that I can for Steam. Like, this, and, I don't know about that guy, the alien. Uh, I know this and this. I, I, there might be another one. I'm not too sure. I haven't played this in a long, long time. So, like I said. Uh, I guess we can, hmm. Yeah, I guess we can, well, I'm pretty sure it does that, actually. Uh, or, because, I don't know, because I'm already level 41, which isn't actually that much. But anyways, let's just go to the home castle. Yes, it actually works. Alright, good. So now we will witness the crystal being stolen. And all those dead troops. And yes, this game has blood and gore. Well, totally not a potato. Whee. So now, if you come back here, you can get a pitchfork, but, you know, not all that great. <laughs> well. There we go. 
All right. Let's see here. Forgot what magic moves can do. Can do very many though. All right, just some generic food. Wish you could skip the cutscenes. And also, I'm going to tell you this now, I can't play FNAF Sister Location. It's not because, you know, I don't like you or anything like that. It's because, um, Wine hasn't been updated to the proper version. So I can't play it. So, yeah, we're kind of just going to be getting through a few levels and uh, hopefully um, we can beat some of the bosses so this game is actually quite long and it's pretty cool I gotta say pretty cool all right uh do we even need yeah we'll get some health for so there's um in this game there's a buying system and as you can see in the top right, you can see all my stats and XP and what level and what um, weapons I'm using. So I can like use a sandwich, a health potion, a horn, a boomerang, which does that. Well, I mean you can charge it. And then, boom. A uh, shovel, which can, if you see X is on the ground, dig up. And, yeah, there's an arrow, or there's arrows and the sandwiches uh they make you buff and also you can see that i have 530 money or money is whatever you want to call it this game has a really cool art style i gotta say it's pretty nice so now we are going whoops to the barbarian war yes you can literally participate in wars in this game Alright, so I might be able to play with this game with other people. Um, I don't know exactly if I could. I just tried joining a multiplayer match. Couldn't do it, but eh. Yeah, take that fool. Boom. Also, in Star Wars Battlefront, uh, I unlocked that, the one gun, um, in the Death Star DLC. I forgot what it was called, like, the, um, Heavy Repeater. Ooh. Hattie Heddington. Of course, I have played, um, the game, um, uh, what's it called? Battle Block Theater. I've played it. I haven't I don't have it on Steam though or my PlayStation. It was on our old Xbox or on my old Xbox 360. I used to own an Xbox, the original. I always wanted this one game, Star Wars Battlefront 2. But of course I could never get my hands on it since we sold it because my mom thought it was useless. So, yeah, we kind of got rid of it. All right. Just No. Just beat him up. There we go. And rip his head off. Only because we can. And keep moving. I wish this guy would come help us. Yep, just drop your flag. It's not really cool looking anyways. Gotta say, to be honest. Also, I think I have like this, um... One of the DLCs gives you like a luck charm. So you get extra money. Or something. But there's a Hattie Haddington you'll see for this game but yeah you can't get it for some reason be cool if you could but of course you can't all right so now we're going up against the first boss of this game and it is quite easy even at 
Even if you're not as good as I am, like, there. Only took two damage from him. You'd only take, like, ten damage. And, yeah, this boss is easy if you're as good as me. You can just beat the crap out of him. And then he's dead. Alright. Boom. Purposefully ripped his head off. Boom. Yep. This point in the game, or if as if you're me, um, and you're trying to replay the game, but I mean this game is kind of best role played, uh, only because it's like a game where you are a knight and stuff. So which it's pretty cool, and it's kind of I kind of recommend it. It's pretty cool. All right, stripping their heads off. Ooh. So every time you have a like, I think two percent chance of unlocking the enemy weapon. Maybe you have one percent chance when you kill them, they drop their weapon. Which the barbarian is an axe. Uh, there's a club. I don't. That probably is someone else's weapon. Yeah, that club that he's using, that one guy. Uh, I don't know how to get that one. I know I have it. I have pretty much every weapon. Alright. Bam. Alright, there we go. Yaw. Yes. Boom. Oh, so you think this guy's the boss, right? Well, no. Not exactly. He's kind of the same. But, not at all. Really. Alright, so, now, this first boss... Uh, I'll show all of his attacks. So one of his attack, if you go in front of him, he does that. And another one of his attacks. So what that attack does, uh, actually I'll show them all off. So in this one, he turns around and spikes you in the back. And then, yep. And then this one, you have to move left and right because he smashes you into the ground. And then this one, he kind of just whacks you. And then of course, yeah. And he has one more attack, but... That's for, yeah, a little after. Oh, and this is one of his other attacks. So, then he spits out fire breath, which the fire breath can hurt you. And his he when he um is uh going backwards, he can also hurt you. So, this boss is overall not the hardest. I mean, there's one boss. It's even harder than the final boss. Actually, I don't really know if I would say that. I beat him about a few, couple times. Yeah, this music is pretty cool, though. That's something I recommend about this. Is the music is really good. And also, uh, and also, if you don't like violence and blood, um, um. You can just go to the settings and turn it off. I think it's like in gameplay. I killed him with a shovel. Yes, shovel knight. Activate. Alright, so now once you beat him, this big chest comes. And then it shoots out tons of gold and loot. And then you can collect all of it. Well, sometimes. Only if you have the speed. Sometimes you're super slow and your other friends can do it. Alright, so now, what would happen is if you're playing multiplayer with your friend, you would have to kill them. And then, yeah, you get to kiss the princess at the end. So, yeah. But it only happens if there's a princess. I think four princesses. There's only four princesses in the entire game. So, yeah. Only got 
a hundred or two hundred and fifteen XP. Fifty six kills and hundred and seventy nine gold. It's not actually that that's actually quite bad. I'll be saying that now. Sane store. Huh. Hmm. I haven't seen this guy. So, I think this is, um, once you beat insane mode, you get the insane, oh no, you don't get the insane store. Um, so what do you, um, so after you beat the entire game, you, I don't know if it's an ability, or you just moves, this guy, I wish I had a, a deep, deep soul, yes you do. Stuck there forever. Of course, you have a deep soul. Sorry for your loss of standing there forever. All right, so now we're, this is the insane store. It's actually quite odd ish. And so, another thing, well, actually, I'll show it if we go to the blacksmith. Which, so pretty much, I'm the blacksmith. So, usually. If you're playing as a different character, which usually you will, so what happens is, I, or the blacksmith, which is me, except I don't wear a helmet, I would be smashing this anvil with a hammer. So, um, so this place is kind of like, you have to be a certain level to use certain weapons. So, uh, let's see here. Uh, so you have to be level 5 to use these weapons, and then uh, level 10, and then level 10 as well, 15, and uh, yeah. What is this? <laughs> That's funny. And then this one is level 20, level 20, level 20, level 30, 30, 30, 30, 35, and 35. Now, these weapons usually are the best weapons, um, but they're not always the very, very best. Like this one, not the very best. Or this one, not the very best either. This one's actually really good. Uh, this one's really good, pretty good. Uh, this one, I like the this, this weapon. Only because defense gives you a, a end. I'll show you the skills. Maybe we should go with the fencing lance. <laughs> yeah, and also you can have a lightsaber. Because, you know. Oh, so this is my weapon. My original. The weapon, so every character has a starting weapon, but all the weapons are at level 1. So, like this one, you have to be level 20, but, um, oh crap, sorry. This is not here. So, <clears throat> every starter weapon, so each character starts with a certain weapon, like, um, I start with this one. Um, uh, the pink knight starts with this one. I don't, I think this is just a one that you get. Uh, and this one's terrible. Oh, wow. Uh, this is the, um, I think orange knight? No, that's not. This is the, um, silver knight. Orange knight. Blue knight. Red knight. And... Green Knight is this one, so the one that's above my head. So, all the weapons you have to have a certain level. And this is the animal room. If you've seen me follow this, um, that's pretty much what this does is these animals give you a special ability. Like Hawkster attacks fallen enemies and gives you fruit from them. 
Chicken increases your strength, defense, and agility. This guy, pretty good. This guy is good until you're at level 20. And then he doesn't help you level up faster that as much. But he does still help you. Mr. Buddy helps you dig faster. So, each pet has their own unique ability. I haven't unlocked them all. Because, you know, hashtag, it's too cheap. And, yeah. So, yeah. These animals help you do stuff. And the, these are pretty much really good stuff. Or animals. So, you can buy animals. Find them in, like, little holes and other stuff as well. Like, there used to be. Oh, there still is. So, see that cat in the top left? You have to jump all the way up there, but it's a little too cheap. Oh, this guy. You're going to want to see what he does. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, it, the only bad thing about this is you leave your pets, then, yeah, it's weird. So I throw, so each person has their own different magical abilities. So I can throw hammers and have a little frog jump out and eat people. And so yeah, these are pretty much um, all the animals that I have unlocked. I have not unlocked all of them. But they all have their own unique special abilities that aren't just, like, overpowered. They make you better, but not overpowered. And I'm guessing the last animal in the game... Actually, it does. So, there's one animal that's actually really weird. It takes a long time to unlock. You have to beat the entire game. Experienced players, yeah. So that um, hold on. Let's see this actually. So yes. So oh, jeez, what did I do? Sorry. <laughs> now I sound like me and numb. <laughs> so there is a huge like area for you to go to and this this is the final battle but that is for another episode so yeah this is pretty much basics 101 of castle crashers and also show you one more thing Show you a boss. Why don't I show you a boss? A cooler boss. So, these are two people, and this is the, the corn boss. So, this is a cheap way to kill your enemies and bosses. So, you jump, and then you spam the triangle button if you're on PlayStation, and if you're on Xbox, the Y button. And if you're on a keyboard, I think it's the D button. Maybe it's ARS. Alright, so now what so these guys just kinda stand there, but when they attack or but when they're attacked, then they will attack your enemies. Which is pretty cool. So yeah, now they're following me. Oh, and then he goes into a shield mode. And then yeah. This boss can be cheap at times, but every time you hit him, he drops food, so that's, yeah, the good part. And also, he drops the amount of food that you hurt him. Well, not exactly, actually. So if I did 4 damage, he would drop 4 popcorn. Uh, it doesn't always work that way. Like, wow. That was a lot of damage you did. So... This game, overall, I recommend it. And so we're just going to finish off 
in the outro on this. So if you guys like the video, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And if you want, you can even friend me on Steam and PlayStation. And then we can play together and join the family and join the adventure. So, of course, it's always free to join me. There's nothing that you don't need to do. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. And also, still, please subscribe. And, you know what? No. We're going to continue. We're going to beat this guy, and then we will end off the episode. But still, if you liked, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And maybe you can show, see what we can play next. And in fact, at the end of this episode, I will show you what games we have. And... Some games, well, you guys might not like to see them, but there's some really cool games that we have, and you guys might want to see them. So right now, we're just finishing up this boss. He's almost at a quarter health, so we will be finishing him off. And, you know, just remember, it's always free to join me. And even, maybe we can have a three-player Terraria series with 3D Clutch, or Clutch ZZZ, and you guys. So, that would be insanely huge. And also, yeah, it's just a great thing to do. Alright. So now we're just gathering up popcorn for our next fight. Also, I wish I could shield. Actually, I can't do that. Why am I thinking? What am I thinking? Wow. I'm a pure idiot. Sorry for that sound. Ow. He did it doubled. Darn it, I didn't block in time. Just holding the left trigger down. Or L... Two. All right. Come on. Come back here. Ow. He always doubles it. This guy, I'm going to tell you this now. He's incredibly hard once you get him below a quarter health. You don't know what I mean by that? I'm serious, man. This guy's hard. Of course, you can just let your friends take them down. I've actually let them do that. They've done the entire battle. To be honest, we're doing not so great. Actually, so, actually, how many hits... He takes, so if I hit him four times with my sword, he would take, or drop, four popcorn. And he only has four kernels of what I can see, so it's not very realistic that he's dropping more than he has. Ow. That, ow. Ow. Oh, and also... Eventually, you learn combos as well. Combos are abilities that you can use to your advantage. Like, oh, uh, darn it. Couldn't show it. Ow. Like, if you press square t or triangle twice, so square, square. 
eh, it, it, it gets weird. It tells you once you unlock them. Like if I press square and then triangle or X and then Y, it, you would unlock, a, you would use a combo where you would swing your sword up in a dash. Also, this guy needs to be nerfed because he freaking the bomb.com. Yes, magic for the win. So now we will be watching this. Little cutscene where he gives us a horn, which is pretty cool, I gotta say. It's really nice, and we got zero kills, even though we killed the corn guy. Maybe my friend did, I don't know. <laughs> so now... I'm gonna show you. No, well, actually, never mind. Actually, yeah. I'll show you. What's. Mm. Alright. So now. Actually, no. I'm not gonna show you my Steam games. So, if you guys liked, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe on the video. If you haven't already, please do it. And I'll see you guys next time. And comment. If you have a game you want me to play, you can send it to me, or you can, you know, show it to me. And uh, maybe we can play Terraria or this game to get together. And so, if you guys like the video, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! B -b Bye. Sorry. <laughs> trying to mess up All right so see you guys next time good bye and please leave a comment like and subscribe and what game I should play next